this video we're going to multiply add and subtract integers again and we'll look at example 6 uh, I'll do A and hopefully you can do B example 7 oh, we'll do sorry we'll do A together and then hopefully you can do uh, part B okay so let's look at uh, examples 6 A and B so we'll start we'll do this one first together so write this down 9 minus 5 parenthesis 2 minus 13 write it down and tell me what do you feel like doing first it's almost kind of a trick question this one isn't it but what do you feel like doing first what, what does it look like oh I'll just do what first and did you, are you gonna make a mistake if you don't follow the order of operations right so mo a lot of students look at that and they go okay 9 minus 5 is 4 but that is not r right. That is wrong. Why? Why is that wrong? Why can't we just do nine minus five gives four? What's wrong with that? If we follow the order of operations, should we start with subtraction? Hmm. Should we start with subtraction? Uh oh. Got to start with parentheses, right? Got to start with parentheses. So we've got to do the 2 minus 13 first, even though we want to do 9 minus 5 because it looks easy. So it's almost like it, it's trying to bait you into making a mistake here. Anyway, what is 2 minus 13? You have $2, you take away 13, you're in debt by how much? Or change subtraction to plus negative. 2 plus negative 13. 2 positives and 13 negatives makes what? 2 good guys, 13 bad guys? 11 bad guys, right? So we've taken care of parentheses. Now we move on to exponents. There's no exponents, and, and we so we, we keep going. So just we've taken care of parentheses, just right there at the whole problem all over again. There's a 5 there. We didn't do anything with that or that or that. So you just write out the whole thing again and keep going. Now should we subtract 9 minus 5 to get 4? Why or why not? So is it a good time to is it a good idea to start subtracting now? Or should we make sure we've no exponents and that all the multiplications are taken care of, right? And the divisions, and then we can add or subtract, right? So we've got to do parentheses and then exponents then multiply or divide and then add or subtract right okay so no exponents but we do have a multiplication we have a 5 times negative 11 or really a negative 5 times negative 11 right and um, what does that give you so in the last video we tried to go over this that you know see that subtract sign if you do this plus negative then all of a sudden the problem looks easier because it just says 9 plus negative 5 times negative 11. So we got to remember that subtraction can always be changed to plus negative. If we do that, it can often make the problem look a lot easier. Because now it will say 9 plus, see that plus sign goes down, and negative 5 times negative 11 is 55. Positive, right? And what's 9 plus 55? So now we can, oh, there was no subtraction. See that? <laughs> now we can add 9 plus 55, 64. So press pause, write down this one, and do it all yourself. And if you make a mistake, that's no big deal, because then you can just watch the video and learn something. So 18 minus 8 times, in parentheses, 1 minus 11. Press pause, try it yourself, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. Again, the temptation is to subtract first. But why would you subtract first? You've got to remember the order of operations. We've got to do all the parentheses first. We've got to do parentheses first. 1 minus 11. 1 dollar. Take away 11 dollars. You're in debt. Or 1 plus negative 11. 1 guy, good guy plus 11 bad guys. Makes 10 bad guys. So we took care of parentheses first. Now we'll write out the whole problem all over again. And we might want to subtract, but should we subtract? No, because the order of operations, subtraction and addition come at the end. The next thing we've got to look for is exponents, but there's no exponents. 
Then we've got to multiply or divide. There is a multiply. We've got to multiply next, see? Because it says negative 8 times negative 10. Again, like that's that's a subtraction sign, but it, it's also just a negative sign. They're the same thing. And just to make it easier, to make it look nice, you can do this, plus negative. See that? 18 plus negative 8 times negative 10. So we've got to do our multiplications before we add or subtract, right? Our multiplication here is negative 8 times negative 10. Negative times negative gives positive 80. And we write out the whole problem because we've got plus 18. 18 plus 80. What's that? 98, right? Okay, example 7. Write down part A. Negative 3 times in parentheses, 7 minus 9. Minus 6 times in parentheses, negative 1 minus 1. So write it down, we'll do it together. What should we do first here? Well, let's follow PEMDAS, right? Let's do parentheses first, right? Do all the parentheses first. So go ahead and do this one. What do you get? And then do this one. So go ahead and do it yourself. Do this one, then this one. So the first one is 7 minus 9. 7 minus 9. And you can use the trick plus negative. That'll help. 7 plus negative 9. 7 positives, 9 negatives. Put them together and you get... And similarly with this one. Anyway, so 7 positive, 9 negatives, that's 2 negatives. Now let's do this guy. Negative 1 minus 1. Is it 2? Is it 0? No, it's not. What is it? You're in debt by a dollar. You subtract a dollar. You're more in debt. You're in debt by a dollar. You subtract a dollar. You're more in debt. Or you're on a number line. You're at negative 1. You go back 1. You get to negative 2. Right? Or change this guy to plus negative and now he says negative one plus negative one one bad guy plus another bad guy that's two bad guys negative two okay so that's parentheses taken care of now just write out the whole thing again with all the things that you didn't do like the negative three and the negative six subtract six see so write it all out again now what should we do well, if we follow the order of operations, the next thing to do is to multiply, right? Got to multiply. No exponents. Got to multiply or divide. Okay. So negative 3 times negative 2. That's a negative times negative. What does that give? Positive 6. And then we've got minus 6 times negative 2. And again, that's just negative times negative. It's just negative 6 times negative 2. What does that make? Right. And a lot of students, again, like to do this, plus negative. Now it says 6 plus, see, plus, plus, negative 6 times negative 2. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. So we have 6 plus 12, 18. Okay, so press pause, write this one down, and do it yourself. It's a negative 4 times in parentheses negative 5 minus 5 minus 2 times in parentheses negative 3 minus 3 um, if you make a mistake that's fine just watch the video and, and hopefully I can explain uh, this question to you so press pause try it yourself and then we'll do it together okay I hope you press pause and try it I'll go over it now so we've got to follow the order of operations means we do parentheses first PEMDAS parentheses first PEMDAS Okay. All right. So negative five minus five. What's that? You're in debt by five dollars. You subtract five dollars. You're more in debt. Or negative five plus negative five gives what? Five bad guys and five bad guys. Or number line. You're at negative five. You go back five, and you're at what? You're at negative 10, right? Five bad guys and five bad guys makes 10 bad guys. 
And let's do this parentheses over here. Negative 3 minus 3. You're in debt $3, you spend $3. How far are you in debt now? You're at negative 3 on the number line. You go back 3 spaces. Where are you now? Or change the subtract sign to plus negative. That's 3 negatives plus 3 more negatives. That's how many negatives altogether? 6 negatives. Negative 6. 6 bad guys. Alright, write it out again. Negative 4 times that minus 2 times that. Now, fill in... What do we do next? Follow PEMDAS, we've done our parentheses. Now we're going to multiply, right? Negative 4 times negative 10 is positive, isn't it? 40. And negative 2 times negative 6 is, is a positive number. It's just, you know, positive what? It's negative 2 times negative 6. If you like, you can do this plus negative. Now it says plus, see that? Plus negative 2 times negative 6 plus 12. 42 plus 12. 52.